What I find challenging about this process that I'm undertaking here is exploring and exposing what there is resistance to naturally when there's resistance to something it's by the nature of resistance by the definition of resistance it makes it resistant <laughs> so so in some ways i'm trying to find how to do this without forcing anything not trying to force anything to happen not trying to push things up or pull things up to the surface uh, but to just consistently create a container and with that hopefully things may grow and things may arise and things may kind of climb up out of their little hiding holes and <laughs> come to the light and I guess that's that's the mindset right now maybe and there are some limitations that I've faced in terms of my physical health, my physical um, ability to where people can't see this when people look at me and when I leave my house and go outside and walk around in public, I get the feedback that I look great and I look good and I look healthy. And what people don't see is that there are things happening internally and I don't just mean mentally, emotionally, but I also mean physically on the sort of gross structural level of hmm, cells, hmm, organs, bones, tendons, molecules, fascia, you know, these different arrangements of matter that are physical, that are visible. So there's the invisible, quote, invisible realms um, you know what I mean? Like emotions and energy and thoughts are, we can observe them um, as our observational skills sharpen and as we develop more powerful tools or more sensitive instruments to observe thoughts, feelings, energies. Um, but it's easier to see, like what you can see, right? You can see the body, we can see the skin, we can grab a microscope and just look a little bit further in and so on and so forth. Um, so anyway, what am I, I'm getting off some weird tangent about how we see things. Um, so I was talking about, yes, going out in the world and people aren't seeing what's going on internally. They're seeing what's appearing externally. And well, what you see is not always what you get. Um, we perceive thing. We perceive what we what we are conditioned to see, and we are limited by so many different factors in terms of what it is that actually appears to us. Um, I was saying to someone yesterday. Well, you know, one time when I was on this particular plant medicine, um, driving down the highway in my car. I could see, although I was focusing on the road in front of me and driving, I could see in my peripheral vision um, the details of all the cars. Granted, the cars on the opposite side of the highway were at a slow speed because there was traffic being backed up, so <laughs> that made it a little easier. But I could make out all the cars, the colors, the model, the make, and it was a hot day so the windows were rolled down. I could see all the people's faces just out of the corner, the side of my vision. I'm talking like a hundred people going by in traffic and I'm making up the details of all of them in real time. And not only that, but what really blew my mind was that <laughs> this on this highway uh, had trees on both sides of the highway. And I could see all the details of each tree to the point where I was making out like thousands and thousands and thousands of individual leaves um, and, and pine needle branches and, and all that uh, detail. Meanwhile, I'm just driving my car looking at, you know, normally our, our vision is so narrow that we might see a little bit of what's going on with this car, that car, the general vibe of what's happening, but we're not, I assume that you guys aren't experiencing a life like this, um, where you're seeing all the details of everything that's almost 180 degrees outside, you know, your vision. So clearly that there are these 
capacities that are available to us that are not necessarily evolved in a functional way um, if we actually had access to all of that information, which we don't really need to know when we're driving. We don't need to be processing and actually aware of the movement of every single leaf that's on the side of the road, because it's probably not going to affect what we're actually trying to do here, which is stay in our lane and avoid getting in traffic accidents and get where we're going. Um, we know intellectually, oh yes, there's so much information available out there, but also that our bodies and our physical capacities and the way that connects with our mind, those connections are there, just that we might not necessarily be in contact with them all the time. So, I have no idea why I started talking about this though. Um. <laughs> Life is crazy. <laughs> it's weird. It's wild. It's, hmm, what is it? God damn. This is bonkers. I mean, I cannot figure out where to put things in a way that makes any sense whatsoever in my mental space. It's like, <laughs> so full of stuff. I'm just, it's like, I'm a mental hoarder. Um, I literally can't even walk around in my mind. I'm just like bumping it. It's like, there's no space whatsoever. Um, geez, I need a cleanup crew to come in and just throw everything away. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> could burn. I can't burn it down because it's not burnable. That's the thing. It's like, it's like, there's no, it's not, it's, not of the nature of destruction. So <laughs> things need to move, things need to change, things need to flow around and this way and that way. And it's like this weird puzzle that just does ne it never makes sense. It's like a puzzle that you can never solve. Um, it's like, do I need to get smaller? Do I need to get, <laughs> get bigger? Do I need to change my perspective? Do I need to flip upside down? Like. It's like learning to ride a bicycle upside down, backwards in the air. <laughs> like, it's like the opposite of what I'm doing. Uh, not as, I don't know. Oh, it's so overwhelming. <sighs> can't, I just can't. That's, that's the thing, the feeling of the overwhelm and it's like, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. And the thing is, is like the natural reaction to that is, yes, I can and push, push, push. It's like, no, cause I've got a million pounds that I'm already carrying and my body can't even carry half of that. So it's just like folded in on itself and just, there's no way to move in that direction. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep going through it. Like that's never going to work. Um, the whole mental, like the whole mindset is broken. The whole, it, it's outdated or it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. 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 Ay, ay, ay.